Good day and once again welcome to the Philippine Trending News Portal. Today, we will discuss the amazing and the first ever recorded exorcism in the Philippines. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe so that you will be notified of our next video. Okay then, let's go ahead with the topic. In 1953, 18-year-old Clarita Villanueva of Bacolod City hit the headlines both here and abroad. But unlike movie stars, the Provinciana became famous for what would turn out to be one of the most legit cases of demonic possession in recorded history in the Philippines. Villanueva came to Manila after her parents died. She first worked as a maid before eloping with her lover. When she found out that her partner was already married, she immediately broke off with him and worked as a dancer. One night, while she's on her way home after watching a late-night movie, Clarita was picked up by the police who suspected her of being a vagrant or homeless. That became her ticket to the Billy Bid prison. After a few days, her stay in the prison turned from mundane to hellish. The young girl claimed she began seeing strange creatures who would bite her several times in different parts of her body. She described the thing as two terrifying creatures, with the bigger one characterized by curly hair, two fangs, and large eyes. During the attacks, she would often scream, become hysterical, and lose consciousness. But it was the bite marks that sent chills to those who had personally witnessed how the young girl struggled with what others described as invisible vampire. No less than tough guy Mayor Arsenio Laxon, who visited the demon-possessed Clarita in the city morgue, claimed that he saw bite marks appear out of nowhere on the victim's hands. Mariano Lara, the medical examiner, was scared out of his wits when he saw firsthand the demonic attacks. He also described the bite marks as otherworldly because their too large, round, human bite is elliptical, and seemed to have been made by molars. Medical experts struggled to come up with a concrete explanation. While others suspected Clarita to be suffering from insanity or a mental disorder known as hysterical fugue, more people were convinced that it was a phenomenon that defies scientific explanation. In the end, hopelessness urged them to finally resort to exorcism to drive demons out of Clarita's body. Reverend Lester Sumrall heeded the call. Assisted by two other Protestant ministers, Sumrall used the power of prayers to overcome the invisible devils. The following is an eyewitness account of Clarita's exorcism. Thanks to the sensational story of Clarita Villanueva, as much as 150,000 people who were moved by her deliverance reportedly accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. What a nice and joyous ending indeed. Today, only a few Filipinos knew about the story of Clarita. Do you have any stories to tell? Please share it through phtrendingnewsportal at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on my video. Take care.